I want to do an elucidation of a particular word in the Bible called Mota. And I want to start by reading Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 19. It says, And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and mutter. Should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Now, this word mutter, the Bible is telling us about familiar spirits and wizards. And what is their secret? One of the things that make them powerful or appear to be powerful is that these wizards and familiar spirits, they peep and they mutter. They peep and they mutter. They peep and they mutter. Now, this word mutter is the same word for meditation in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. It's Hagar. Hagar. So, these wizards meditate. They take words and they say them. They speak it over time. They speak it over time. They speak it over time. And that's why it's always good to go into the Hebrew and the Greek world so you have a clearer understanding, you have a conceptual view of the scriptures, you have a deeper understanding. So, when the Bible encourages us to meditate, let us understand that it's a powerful, it's a powerful tool that even the enemy, wizards, people with familiar spirits, they apply the same principles, they engage in the same practices. Isaiah 8.19 has told us here, that wizards they peep and they mutter. That word mutter is Hagar, the same word for meditate in Joshua 1 8. It's the same word David uses for meditation in Psalm 1 and verse 3. So God is encouraging us to do it. David did it, Joshua did it, but not them alone, even the wizards do it. I hope and I pray for you that the word of God will not depart from your lips, that you will speak the word. I hope you have an amazing experience with Immersion Bible. Do have an amazing day. Bye for now.